Hello everyone, I'm Adam. In this problem, we're going to be getting an introduction to vectors. Namely, what we're going to be doing is starting with an initial point at coordinates 8, 3, and some terminal point at coordinates 6, negative 1, and answering these four questions. So part A, what we're going to start with, is sketching the directed line segment representing the vector. Part B, we're going to write the vector in component form. Part C, we're going to write the vector as a linear combination of our unit vectors i and j. And D, we're going to sketch the vector with its, init with its initial point at the origin. So let's get started with part A. So we're going to sketch the directed line segment. So this is pretty straightforward. So part A, we'll come over here and start at our graph. <clears throat> so again, what is a vector? Well, it's a quantity that represents both direction and length or magnitude. And we can represent that with what we call a directed line segment. And how we draw that is, well, looking at our initial point as a starting point. So we have coordinates 8, 3. So x value 8, y value 3. And terminal point at 6, negative 1. So x value 6 y value negative 1. So starting at this point and ending at our terminal point. And then how we indicate direction is typically by putting a little arrow at the end. So if you were just looking at this to start, you could tell that this was our initial point, 8, 3, and our terminal point down here at 6, negative 1. So that's part A. So let's take a look at part B. It says, write the vector in component form. So again, the component form of a vector is simply taking a vector and rewriting it so that its initial point is at the origin. Okay? And how we do that is, let's call this for some vector v right, with some components v1 and v2. And suppose we have some known starting point and ending point, or initial point and terminal point, which we'll call our initial point, say point P, with coordinates P1 and P2. And our terminal point, call it, say, point Q, with coordinates Q1 and Q2. These components can be found by the component-wise subtraction of our terminal point and our initial point, where it's the components of the terminal point minus the components of the initial point. Namely, taking, say, q1 minus p1 and q2 minus p2. So with this, we just plug in the coordinates from our initial and terminal points. So what we have are, say, q1 would be 6 and then minus p1 is 8. And then our q2, negative 1 minus, say, 3, which gives us the vector, doing our subtraction, 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Negative 1 minus 3, we get negative 4. OK. So, and we'll get to this in part d. We're actually going to be sketching this vector. But for now, we'll go on and take a look at c. So what is C? We want to write our vector as a linear combination of the unit vectors i and j. So our vector here, call it v, which again, in general, say it has components v1 and v2. So any vector, again, in component form can be written as a, a linear combination of the unit vectors, say, i and j, simply by taking the components, say, starting with v1, multiplied with the unit vector i, and then plus the second component, v2, times the unit vector j. So to complete this, all we have to do is put in our v1 and v2. So our v1, we have negative 2 times the unit vector i, and then v2 is negative 4. So plus a negative 4, or just minus 4, times the unit vector j. And there's our linear combination of the unit vectors i and j. And so lastly, graphing for part d, which we're going to be graphing 
over here. So it says sketch the vector with its initial point at the origin. So this is where I said we'll be coming back to what we got in part B. So essentially we're going to take our vector in component form, v equal to components negative 2 and negative 4. So again, how you can interpret this is a vector, again, where its initial point is at the origin. So you know in component form you have initial point at the origin and the terminal point can be taken as the coordinates of our components or a point made up of the coordinates of our components. So point at negative 2, negative 4. So just going to plot a directed line segment based on these two points. So coming over here, so we have initial point at our origin and the terminal point at negative 2, x value negative 2, y value negative 4. And of course, putting our line to indicate direction. So we'll go ahead and label that our vector v. So there we have it. Thank you very much.